does your voice sound small? Even when you're trying to sound loud? Your desire for a big sound may be part of the problem. You see, as a singer, you're really an acoustic instrument, like a drum, a piano, or a guitar. All acoustic instruments have a vital component, and if compromised, will sound small. Then what do we got? What does every instrument have, every acoustic instrument? What's a vital component? Resonator. resonator. What's the resonator on the drum? The, the drum, yeah, the shell. The resonator on the piano. Right. The resonator on the guitar. The guitar, right? The box. Yeah, exactly. Resonator for the, for the voice. What's the resonator? S plural. Exactly. Cavities. Great. All airspace, right? We got airspace in our windpipe. That's below the larynx. We got airspace in the pharynx. That's this area above the larynx. That's divided into three. You got the laryngeal pharynx. That's the area just here. Oral pharynx and nasal. Nasal cavity, of course. Oral cavity. Any open airspace is a potential resonator. Some of these are flexible, movable resonators. Some are fixed. So a drum, the shell on a drum, that's a fixed resonator, right? Trombone, that's a very adjustable resonator, right? So the resonator will influence the sound you're making. Of course it will. But we're talking about it here. I, wanna, I want you to see how complex this thing called singing is. We've got resonators, right? If I take... This would be a resonator. Now if I take this and lengthen it, hear a difference? Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> so each one influences the sound. Luckily, we've got a real pliable area right here. These muscles are called sphincter muscles, so they can open and close. They can lengthen, they can raise and lower the larynx, which is going to adjust, right? So just like a slide trombone, we've got all this adjustability. But unlike a slide trombone, we're human. We've got that thing called a mind, and that mind worries a whole lot when we're singing. So it tends to fix this area, like a toilet paper roll. It just keeps it real rigid, exactly where it is. Because usually the mind told the brain to drive some air up because we're this thing called projection, and we just got to be loud as possible in order to be passionate and emotional. Because we got that in our minds also, that that's something good to do. So this, this domino effect of one bad idea, one belief, one thought process after another is creating this tangle, this web, all captured in all these well-intended but really bad ideas. So the size of the resonator matters. Having a big resonator means no matter how hard I play this piano, it's not going to sound like this one. And no matter how hard I play this piano, I can't compete with this. So we use a microphone when we sing, and you want to avoid the temptation to belt out every note of a song. Don't you see? Can't you see the possibility?